Now for this question, we're asked to expand 1 over 2 minus 5x all squared. In ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x squared, giving each term as a simplified fraction. So how am I going to expand something like this? Well, what we need to be familiar with is the binomial expansion. And I'm assuming you are. If not, there are tutorials on my website on this. But for now, here's just a brief reminder. The binomial expansion formula, when you want to expand 1 plus a to the power n, it's identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared and so on. So I need to get this into this particular format. And first of all, because it's 1 divided by 2 minus 5x squared, I need to bring 2 minus 5x all squared to the top. And so I can rewrite that as 2 minus 5x to the power minus 2. The problem is though, I've got this 2 in here and I need a 1 here. So to get around that problem, what we do is we pull out whatever number you've got here, in this case 2. And we will have a bracket where we put a 1 there and then we put minus 5x over 2. And so obviously we've now got, if we expand this, 2 minus 5x. But we realize it's now all to the power minus 2. So we've got to put that all to the power minus 2. Now whenever you've got 2 or more things multiplied together to a power, then you can write each of them to that power. So this is exactly the same, it's identical to 2 to the power minus 2 multiplied by 1 minus 5x over 2 all to that power minus 2. Now we know that 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared, 1 over 2 squared being a quarter. And now we've got this in the form of 1 plus a to the power n where n is the minus 2 and a is minus 5x over 2. So we can expand this using the binomial expansion. So if we do that, we've got 1 plus n a, so we've got plus n being minus 2, times a, a being the minus 5x over 2. So we've got that. Now we go on to the next term, so it's going to be plus n, which is minus 2, times n minus 1, so we take 1 away from that minus 2 and get minus 3, divided by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, and multiply it by a squared, so multiply it by minus 5x over 2, all squared. And we were asked to expand this up to the term in x squared. So that's as far as we need go. But do try and remember to put plus and so on, even so, because there's going to be more terms behind this expansion. Now all we need to do next is just multiply through by a quarter and clean up these terms. So for the first term we've got 1, so a quarter times 1 is a quarter. For this next term, those two twos cancel, leaving us with just simply 5x. So we end up with 5x over 4, or 5 quarters x. And for the last term, I can see that these twos cancel here. That's going to be a minus 1. So if we now square this bracket here, we've got 25x squared over 4 times it with the 3, that's 75x squared over 4, times it with the quarter, and you end up with plus 75x squared over 16. And don't forget to write plus and so on. So there we go, we've expanded it up to the term in x squared and uh, in ascending powers.